Welcome back to the community, everyone. Thank you all for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the bell notification, subscribe, hit like, check out the description for the website, be part of it. Today, we're removing the axle beam off the front. Of course, the brake drums, the backing plates, we're stripping all that out. Uh, I've already got the gas tank disconnected because you've seen that in an earlier video if you were already part of the click we got going on here. And uh, that's it, we gotta pull the front beam. We're gonna start stripping this car completely down. We got the dash pad off and now it's time to get real. So I am going to go ahead and do my weekly update on the 68 restoration. But I'm gonna start putting a couple short clips up throughout the week, just like I did uh, two days ago. I did that short clip and was showing the door frame pillar that needed welded. So I think it'd be interesting to make it almost like a TV station where you watch my weekly update, just like you would one of the car shows, you know, but I'm gonna do shorts throughout the week too, just to keep you updated. And we're gonna do a live chat next week. I'll figure out the day and I'll post it in my community section. It'll show up on my YouTube. It's not gonna be a tech thing or a help thing. It's gonna be to chat with you folks and have fun and see what you want to see, things like that. So, sorry about the long intro. I had a lot to say. Let's get on it. So, I have the car jacked up, and here's what I did. <clears throat> I jacked it up on the beam, okay? Now, obviously, you're removing the beam, so you can't put the stands there. I always love to put the stands on each side of there. But, that's where I put it right behind the frame head there on your crossbar is what I call it and that's nice and sturdy. So you can jack it up on the beam though and set the stands up there since you're removing the beam. The floor pans don't look bad. But we're gonna wire wheel, clean them all up and paint them real pretty because nobody will see it. Oh well, let's get the wheels off. Rusty Harbor Freight, Chicago Electric. I love this thing, it's strong. 39 bucks. Now obviously I would take this beam off regardless because we're gonna put on new ball joints, new tie rod ends. We're gonna restore the whole thing and get up under there and clean and paint, but there's what the beam looks like. Now they sell these plates like you see here. But I'm not doing that because I don't know how much rust is up inside of there. And it's bad on the other side too. So I'll show you when I get it out. So the first thing we're going to do is take the trunk lid off. Mine's already disconnected. So I'll pull that out of the way. Okay. And after that, we're going to take the liners out. So, oops, that ripped. I got to get a new one anyhow. So, take your liner out and your second liner. And we're going to pull the gas tank. I have a video up for that already. So, mine's disconnected. So, pull that out of the way. All right, and time to get ready. First, what I'm going to do is disconnect the tie rod end. So let's get our cotter pin off first. And 
19 millimeter. Should have my battery powered gun ready. I could have zipped it a lot quicker. But that's okay. And give us a little tap. Not yet. Wow. There we go. Tap on a knuckle right there. Okay. Now, one thing I do got is to pull that speedometer cable out. It's already off the cap. There it is there. There's no clip in it. So. Yeah. Okay. Speedo cable out of the way. Now. Your brake hoses, you would want to disconnect. I'm replacing them with all new, so I'm just going to cut them. I don't know if any fluid will come flying out. Nope, I didn't think so. Uh, you just take these out properly if you're not going to replace them, okay? So, now the ball joints. I'm going to break them loose off of here. Probably gonna have to double wrench. Come on. There we go. I don't have a ratchet wrench in a 19 millimeter, or it would have made it convenient, but I don't. I'll speed up the film here. Okay, turn it this way. The other side. Gotta get a wrench on here. Number lefty Lucy. I'm gonna double wrench it and break it loose. Double wrenching is almost a must with those. My ratchet wrenches only go up to 17 millimeter. Unfortunately, I would have zipped that right off. I'll speed it up. Here we go. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to smack these with a hammer. And I'm going to pry up an ease to get this off of here. Okay. hitting here and here. Let's see if they came loose. I gotta put a bar in there. That one did. Oh that one didn't yet. So hit it some more. You can get a pickle fork in here. Take the other side off. Now we're on the passenger side. I'm going to disconnect this outer tie rod end to two ball joints. I'll cut the brake hose since I'm buying new ones. So I already removed the cotter pin. So it's a 19 millimeter on mine, anyhow. Wait, it's going to turn on me. Try this a minute first. I like to. Break it loose. Okay. If you have a little battery powered impact gun like I do, get it out and use it. It'll save you time. Don't be me. I'm too lazy to get up and get it. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. All right. Let's smack it with our hammer. These been on there a while. Go. Remember, you're hitting it here, not here. 
Let's turn this. Put our 19 on the top. Let's give it a whoops. You gotta get a better hold on it than I just did. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on to the bottom one. <clears throat> wow, that one's on there. The bigger washer up top smaller one down the bottom. Okay, it's hammer time. Remember, you're hitting here and here, okay? Let's get my bar in there. Right on the lip. Frame head pan, lift up, and that's out of the way. That's not off there yet. Not yet. Remember, you can put a pickle fork in there. with the pickle forks is you tear your boot and stuff Now I don't care because I'm replacing the ball joints and everything so let's see if this will go in that one's kind of big they just look like that you know nothing fancy stubborn okay that's off alrighty let's reposition the cameras Okay, now we're moving to under where the gas tank is. We'll start here. Oh my, these have been on a long time. And I even pre-sprayed with PB Blast. But they've probably been on her since 1968. I can tell this stuff hasn't been changed. It's okay. We're gonna refresh all of it. Wow. I sprayed and sprayed and sprayed this stuff too. It's okay, no big deal. It's all part of the journey. Okay. Yeah, I've been on it all the time. Get the other end of it. I'm going to put my nut back on here and just tape my bolt in here in case the new one don't come with the bolts and nuts. You can clean these up with a wire wheel. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove the inner tie rods. All right, there's one on each side, obviously. And they come right down through here, right below your steering column. And you can turn the steering wheel to adjust where you want them to be. I'm happy right there that I can break them loose. They're 19 millimeter. So let's break them loose. Okay, let me break the other one loose and then we'll tap them out. end up in there to hold it. Probably blocking a camera, bear with me. I don't know if I am or not, because I'm on the other side of the camera. Just yell if I'm blocking it. No 
Yeah, but he yelled, so I must be not blocking it. Okay. Right here and right there. Don't hit the head of the tie rod. That's not what your goal is. It's to break it loose. The other one, I'm replacing them all so I don't care if it rips the boot or hits me in the face. They're usually not that tough to get out. I never seen one that hard to get off of there. Unbelievable. Okay, well, it's off. And I'll show you what I mean from up top. That tie rod came from that side right to there. It's off. Okay, let's disconnect the steering column. I'm definitely believing that's very accurate for how this stuff's coming apart. All right, we gotta disconnect the steering columns and we're almost there. Here is your wire. Oops, turn the whole steering column. Move your wire, just a little clip there. Okay. And we're gonna get on these 14 millimeter, is what you need. Okay. Hopefully, I sprayed these that they come off fairly easy. Come on, get on there. That there. <clears throat> Go. Don't forget, don't lose your washers. You can always buy them, but well, you know. Turn this like that. Don't know where I came up with that accent. Okay. Come on, get on there. Press the wrench against there. Break it loose. Okay. Whoops. Come on. And that is disconnected from the steering box. Okay. While we are here, we are going to loosen the top bolts. I'll show you in a second. We have two 17 millimeter bolts on the top. I already previously sprayed these. Oh, that was a great loose. You still have four bolts holding it from the front. I'll show you those in a minute. But these go in the top of the beam, standard bolts. Okay, and you have little rubber blocks and a little metal flat washer, I guess, so to speak. This holds the front of the body to the beam. Wow, these are coming right out. I sprayed the crap out of them. Okay. And let's move underneath. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Your frame head the beam is bolted against it you'll see what i do in a minute it'll make sense the bolts go through and hold into there you can go around the back and spray inside where the threads go and that down in there same on both sides spray through there so that you can get the pv blast into the threads all right so we got our jack holding the beam up because you only have four bolts left and they are right here, camera's bouncing around a little bit. See, two there, and then two there. You're gonna watch me taking them off anyhow, and that's it, this beam's gonna come out. So hold on. Okay, so you have two bolts right here. This holds the right side of the axle on, and they are 19 millimeter. 
So let's get ready. I've already previously sprayed these down. Oh, remember, have your jack under here. Once I get the beam off and show you, it'll make better sense at what you're watching me do. A little grunting helps, always helps. I'll get these four bolts out when I do. I drop the beam down and I point to everything and you'll go, oh. And then you'll get it. Just make sure that jack's under there because that beam's a little heavy. It'll come down and cause some damage. There's these big bolts, which before you put back in, you'll clean up the threads real nice on a wire wheel. Come on. Can't get a gun up in there. Probably a air ratchet if you have one. I like winding them out slow when I've been in there for 50 years. And I did spray them, so it does help, you know. But you can put a, a tap in there and chase them threads and clean them up. It would be helpful. There's the other bolt. Let's go to the other side. So you have the other two on this side. Okay, and there's the last one. They're big bolts, but you want to clean these up. The thread's real nice. Okay. Whew, I'm pooping out. It's too hot out today. Let's reposition the camera and pull the beam down. Everything is disconnected. All the bolts. When I loosen this jack up, it should start to come down. And we'll take a look while we got it down and see what's going on in under there. been on there a while. Whoa, not too far. May give it a tap. Wow, it's been on there a long time. See? That wasn't how that was supposed to work out. Okay, well, <laughs> you gotta laugh about it. Sure. That wasn't how that was supposed to work out. Okay, well, <laughs> you gotta laugh about it. There's the beam that fell out on the ground because it was stuck. I didn't have the jack tight enough, but there's your four bolts, okay, that I was talking about. And I'm going to get underneath the car in a second and show you something here. However, now you see why I wasn't impressed with this beam. Sometimes you can clean them up and fix them. This thing is toasted. Look, you can see through there too. So... I got drop spindles. I don't know if I'm going to get an adjustable beam or not, but let's look underneath. All right, that is where the beam bolts to. I know that's not a good angle, but you see the four bolt holes. And of course, that little opening is where you do the access to the shifter tube to pull it out to change the shift tube bushing and clean that up. Uh, frame head looks nice and solid. Let's look underneath further. This all looks solid. Screen looks blurry. Sorry, guys. Probably put my dirty fingers on the lens. And much better access up here to everything. What we're going to do next week, we're going to remove all these brake lines, the master cylinder. We're going to wire wheel and clean all this up in there. And I'll speed up a lot of parts of the film, but I want you to follow the whole process. I know you guys wanted to watch me do this and get everything right. So let's make it look brand new inside of there and keep moving forward. Okay, so we moved the front axle beam. I'm gonna need to replace it, but we're gonna put on all new ball joints. We're gonna clean up the control arms real nice. We're gonna remove the torsion leaves, is what I call them, out of the beam, clean everything up. New seals, 
we want this car like brand new and maybe even a little better than brand new. We can improve, you know, the handling from back in 68. Uh, next week, we're going to keep rolling on it every week. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more than one a week, what they call them is shorts. They're a minute long just to keep updating you throughout the week. If you want, I'll gladly do them. I enjoy that. Uh, live feed next week. i got to pick a day, and we're going to do a live feed chat back and forth. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. You guys will be able to type to me while I'm talking. You know, you'll see me. Unfortunately, I can't see you with doing that. Uh, I'm going to pick somebody in a couple of weeks and do a live Zoom call. And that'll be fun. One of the community members, whoever uses Zoom, let me know. And we'll do a live one. And I think that'd be really cool. We'll do a conversation about Beatles stuff or whatever. And I'll upload it to the channel for other people to see who you are. So whoever is interested in that, leave it in the comments section and we'll get something worked out. Uh, okay, that's it. I thank you all for being here. I thank and appreciate all my subscribers. You're a wonderful community. And let's get together soon.